Hey, my name is Tuli and today I'll show you how to create a job in the Team Taylor system. Let's have a look. To create a job in the Team Taylor system, you will need to first click onto the Jobs tab and from there onto the pink plus button here. First, you'll need to give your job add a title. If you have a different internal reference name for the job, you can state that up in the job name section. To draft a job description, you can do that either by writing your own or you can use our co-pilot to help you write one. Once your job ad description has been written, you will also have the opportunity to write a short pitch, which is a way for you to highlight why candidates should come and work for you. Next, you'll be able to select the department for your job ad, the role, as well as your locations. If you have any remote work opportunities, you can also highlight your remote status here, as well as the response time, how quickly you would get back to the candidate's applications. In the recruiter and colleague section, you can firstly highlight who the main recruiter of the job is, as well as then the future colleagues of this particular job. In the appearance section, you can customise how your job ad will look like. Firstly, you can choose your button text, as well as your page template. If you want to edit the background image, you can do so by clicking onto the Choose Image button, and then you'll also be able to do some minor colour edits. In the application stage of your job ad, you can customise which kind of personal details you would like to receive from the candidates. Email, however, is always mandatory. All the other details you can either have off, optional or mandatory. With questions, you can ask any additional questions from the candidates that can help you later on in your screening process. If you use yes and no questions, you can also choose to have them as mandatory questions for the candidates to have to answer yes in order to apply. With your response messages that you can see down here, these get automatically pulled through from your message settings. However, if you want to customise them to be more job specific, you can click to customise them here. In the stages section of your job ad, you can customise the recruitment process that your candidates are going to be going through. You can add your own stages by clicking onto the button here, or you can edit or remove any of the existing ones from here. To work more efficiently throughout your recruitment process, you can also work with stage actions where you'll find things such as guide time and our triggers that are some functions that you can automate. If you would like to activate some functions to happen when a candidate is rejected, you can toggle on the on reject button and anything that you add here will automatically get activated whenever a candidate is rejected. Under the hiring team section, you can choose who the main recruiter of the job is and choose who the members of your hiring team are. These users will automatically get an email notification inviting them to the job. In the interview scorecard section, you'll be able to list some skills and traits that you would like for an ideal candidate to have when they apply to your job. Now that we're done creating your job, you can firstly save your draft so that you can then easily go and view how your job ad would look like as a candidate. You can also pin your job to the top, meaning that it will always be the first job on your internal jobs list as well as on your career site. Then you can set publish dates and end dates to your job as well as use tags to easily find your job in the system. Once you're fully finished and ready to publish your job, you can simply click onto the pink publish button here. Thank you for watching. Remember that if you have any questions throughout, you can always reach out to our support team via the chat button in the platform. Happy recruiting!